Hi Sugarfoot and welcome back to my channel. So this video today is for all of the people that are into body modification. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing and subscribe to the channel. So for years, I've been trying to stretch my ears up to one inch. I went so far as to buy, why does that sound weird? It, to keep myself motivated to go up to one inch, I went so far as to buy a one inch pair of plugs that I thought were like so beautiful. And I am still at three fourths. So if you don't know, three fourths of an inch is about 19 millimeters and I wanna be at 25 millimeters. So it's been years since I bought those pair of plugs and I still haven't gotten there. I bought different sets of kits to help me stretch up, but it was like the, um, the taper. One set that I bought was a taper and then I also bought um, glass plugs from Arctic Buffalo. But I forgot to buy the one um, millimeter increment up from where I'm currently at. So I could never put those in my ears. It was just a whole mess, okay? And I just never got around to buying that one increment. And now here we are. So um, Stretch Your Body Jewelry, I did a video for them before I'll link it above. They reached out to me again and asked if I would do a review of their stretching kit and they do increments of 0.5 millimeters. So I was like, okay, that's even better. I don't have to worry about my ears irritating me when I'm stretching up, and this is the dead stretching kit. So, let's get into it. So they asked me if I wanted one or two kits. I said one, not realizing that it only came with one um, tunnel, but it's okay, because I could just stretch each air up at a different time. Um, so they sent me from 15 millimeters to 25 millimeters in 0.5 increments. So that's 20, 20 tunnels, okay? 20 tunnels right there. And they also sent me organic jojoba oil to help with the stretching, as well as a business card, of course, you know? So today, I am going to only be stretching, technically stretching one ear, but I'm going to put tunnels in both. I'm going to have 19 in one and 19.5 in the other. And the ear that I'm gonna be stretching today is this one because it's the ear that gives me the least amount of trouble. I have a little bit of difficulty with this ear sometimes. So I'm gonna keep it where it's at, oil it, and like just prep it for a couple days before I stretch up. So what is recommended is oiling your ears and putting a warm rag on them. I'm being lazy right now. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get the warm rag. <laughs> I'm just gonna oil my ears. Their kits are available in five millimeters to, well, let me start over. Their kits are available in one millimeter to five millimeter. Then they also have 5.5 .5 to 10 millimeters. They also have one to 10 millimeters. <laughs> They just have it in a plethora of groups. You can also um, purchase them separately, so you don't have to buy it in a package. This stretching kit is supposed to be foolproof and easy. It's very straightforward. Um, the recommended time between stretches is technically two to three months, and sometimes longer depending on how your ears respond to the stretching process. I'm probably not gonna do that because I'm hard-headed. So I'll probably stretch my ears once a week or maybe once every two weeks. This stretching kit is supposed to be perfect for beginners. Oh, see how easy that just slipped in? 0.5 increments make so much more sense. I know some people could do one millimeter 0.5 just seems so much easier. This is the 19.5 and this is the 19. So, and there you have it. Now, I hope the oil works wonders. I also have a discount code with them. It's Brittany10. So, if you decide to purchase, get the 10% off, okay? So, it is two days later and I feel like I want to stretch up. I wanted to stretch up yesterday, but I just didn't. But I feel like I want to stretch up today because this one fell out of my ear and this is the one that was at 19 millimeters. 
So this is at 19 and this is at 19.5. So I'm just gonna switch this one to this ear and go up to 20 on this ear. In, super easy. Doesn't hurt. What I do suggest is when you put the back piece on, push it all the way to your ear because this thing fell out so easy. So what I will say about these that I don't like about these is, which is what I don't like about tunnels, period. Um, they're very uncomfortable to sleep in. So these are steel, stainless steel tunnels. And when you sleep, of course, the steel presses into your neck and that is so uncomfortable. What I usually sleep with is stone. I usually sleep with a stone plug, like a full plug. So it's not as uncomfortable or I'll just take them out, period. But I tend, when I take them out, I tend to forget to put them back in and then a couple days go by and my ears are shrunken, so. But yeah, nine, well no, 19.5 and 20 millimeters. So it's been exactly two weeks to date. This air is at 19.5 and this air is at 20. I recently found like a huge bag that I have of like 50 tunnels and plugs, silicone tunnels and plugs that are at 20 millimeters. And I'm not sure why, because I was definitely at 19. Maybe I ordered it online and it said three fourths because when you measure it that way, based on the gauge rather than the millimeter, they, it, it just computes differently, I don't know. But I had a, a ton of these in my closet. So I put this in, which is 20 millimeters, 20, 20 millimeters, and this one is 19.5. So as I told you guys before, this air is a little stubborn, so it took a little while longer for it to stretch up. And I feel like right now it's at a good space where I can stretch up to 20. And when you put these on, make sure you put it all the way to the back of your ear and don't just slide it over the tunnel because it will slip off. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I should leave this like this until this one catches up. Uh, should I just go to 20.5? I don't know. I might just go to 20.5. The only thing is so uncomfortable to sleep with these steel plugs, okay? It's so uncomfortable, which is why I like silicone. Um, yeah, it's just uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of silicone plugs in different sizes. Sleeping with these things is not the bee's knees. I sometimes take them out at night, but for the most part I do. That was easy. I could feel this one a little bit. It doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. This ear is always more difficult than this one. This one, I don't feel anything. Thank you for watching my video. I'll still be stretching up. Um, it might take me a little while, but I'm getting there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.